Oh, 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 dead. Yeah, dead, dead. Oh, oh my god. I killed Todd, I killed Todd, Hud dead. On me left, on me left, on me left. Oh my god. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I'm going. I'm spawning back left. A bomb, A bomb, A bomb, A bomb. Alright, bet. I'm watching the back, I'm watching the back. Yeah, spawning in the back, right? Uh, they're they're spawning zig side now. They're just spawning zig side. I want top house. Nice shit. All right, pushing up, pushing up, pushing up. Yo, what's going on, guys? It is your boy Marcy doing that quality content, and today I'm showing you guys how to shoot straight. So as you saw in that clip, I was shooting pretty straight. So I think I'm a valid source for this topic. You gotta shoot straighter, shoot better, shoot the best to your ability, and what to do to make shooting even easier to get your kills. It has nothing to do with your accuracy. So there's a lot to it. First of all, what are you comfortable with? Are you comfortable with Xbox controller, PS5 controller, or is it like me and the PS4 controller? Now, personally, that's what I've been using for years. PS4 controllers feels the best. I like the way the buttons are. They're flat. They're just responsive for me playing claw. As for the PS5, it's just, I hate the bumpers. Honestly, really hate the bumpers. If it wasn't for the bumpers, I might use it. Xbox is just too loose and just doesn't feel right. As compared to PlayStation, that is all preference. As we're playing Halo, I'd prefer Xbox. Now, another thing that I'll get straight into is Control Freak or no Control Freak. And I'll explain to you why I choose Control Freak. So I'm gonna try to quickly break down the Control Freak. If I didn't have one on, I personally just have this weird problem that I just, I'm very twitchy. I move a lot. My thumbs, my fingers in everyday life, I'm always cracking them. I'm always doing something weird. I'm always doing things with my fingers no matter what so when i play it's something you have to be very steady on right you don't want to be doing nothing weird like that without a control freak it's easier to make those movements so i'm always like in a gunfight and i just like type of thing like i'll always be centered but then i'll just do something weird it's like very micro and i will miss but a control freak i feel very comfortable and personally i don't not the biggest fans of ps4 6 to begin with Similar to PS5, same thing really. So you can choose what stick you want, what the pattern it has, what design it has, that type of thing. So let's get into the settings really quick and show you what you need to know. Now quickly, go into graphics, gameplay. Make sure you have your FLV on ADS affected. Makes the gun visually have less recoil and you can see more. Camera moment at the very least because you don't want it to be shaking when you're getting shot at, the flinch, nades, whatever it might be. And this is the best setting because it truly does everything in its power to give you the least latency. So with this, you'd be more responsive, more cracked, everything you need to shoot back. As for the controller, you obviously want to aim this on or else uh, GG's. Default, personally, it keeps it to the simple Warzone feel, MW, Vanguard, all the same thing. You can use Black Ops, which would make it feel more like Cold War, but trust me, just not in this game. If you want to try it, go ahead. But I can tell you that no one uses that. Over on controller, under controller. I personally play 6'6". Six, six. Um, I would go as low as 5'5", five, five, maybe if you're an AR player. You know, it's just not really anyone doing that. 7'7", seven, seven even, or like 8'8.9", eight, eight or 8'8.8". Eight, eight eight. But I would stay anywhere from 5 to nine the max but six six is what nearly every single player uses that shoots straight that's in the pro league that plays warzone every day Warzone kids are a little bit more you know different but six six is definitely the perfect amount of speed i play on one times ads but for anything with a scope on it like my snipers i have 1.1 just to get that a little bit more flick when i need it x is aim response curve type dynamic 110 percent with standard if you try to move your stick as fast as you can, it takes time for that to get 100% its speed. Linear, on the other hand, is always 100% speed. You move the stick a little bit, a lot of it, always gonna be at its max speed. As for dynamic, it is just like standard, but it's quicker to get to that max speed. So it allows you to be quicker with your movements, get cracked, everything. But when you do need to hit your shots, make those micro adjustments, it's not speeding up like crazy as compared to linear. So I could tell you that 99.9% .9 of people use dynamic. Anyone that's in that 0.1% is just because I can't confirm that they do or do not. But dynamic is the best one to use. I heard controller vibration on will mess up your shot because the controller is shaking, vibrating. Personally, I always liked it on, but I did turn it off over the years and it just always kept it off. You know, I see a difference. I won't say yes or no, but 
people do say to keep this off. Now we're getting to some weird things. Left trigger, right trigger, inputs, put it on zero. You don't want to have any dead zone on your triggers. If you do tend to shoot with your triggers. Left stick, five, and right stick, five for the minimum input. You want the least amount as possible. Just make your sticks as responsive as possible with not much dead zone or, you know, un you know, wasted potential with you moving your thumb. But you don't want to be automatically walking or spinning or anything. You know, looking at the sky with your stick drift. Now this, left stick only. I do it on 80. You can go lower. Try to say a little higher. This, you go as low as you can without you automatically walking in different directions. Will it allow you to just have less tension needed. Less movement required to do what you want to do. So you can shake probably a little quicker, a little smoother. Get ready to start sprinting and going forward as compared to being on 99, which would be more of a stiff kind of feel. And that is it when it comes to settings. As for everything else you need to learn, First things first is centering. You want to be always centered on anywhere you go. Like right there. I'm shooting upper body. Max amount of damage. If you are playing pubs or headshot multiplier, then you know, you probably get a headshot in there and do some more damage. He's got blown up. Secondly, would be your left stick aiming. That might sound weird because you aim with your right stick, but left stick aiming, I promise you, is probably more important to be honest. So watch. I'm going to center on this bot, and I'm not going to use my right stick. See? Not using my right stick. There's aim assist involved, so might somewhat help to slow down. But that's pretty much how you aim. You don't really want to be going crazy. These micro adjustments you do are for when you need it. Your left stick, you strafe with the player, you guide your shot how you want to guide it. And you can always not honestly hit every shot because you're not throwing off your own aim unless the other player because these are just bots. The other player hits some slide cancel, some bunny hops, some something like that, you know, to throw you off your game. That's why it's important to do the exact same thing back. You always want to be hitting your slide cancels, your jumps, your everything. You want to be twisted 24-7, especially in a game like Vanguard, where there is no time to stop. Another thing to mention is recoil control. Now, let's just see the gun that I'm using with the build that I have. How does the recoil go? So this gun in particular, I always just hold it down a little bit. And we are pretty much shooting the same spot the entire time. Luckily, Vanguard doesn't have a lot of recoil on their guns. And if you are laying down, there's literally nothing happening. Now, if I click control this, it's probably a BO4 ICR. So with a lot of practice, a lot of, you know, repetition with whatever gun it is that you're using, you will learn how to just make it feel like you have a Cronus in your pocket, but you really don't. So with everything that I've said from centering to left stick aiming to your micro adjustments with your right thumb, if you aren't perfectly on target and even down to your movement, all those things together will make you the best player that you can be when it comes to winning a gunfight. Internet, yes, having the best internet, having fiber makes your bullets more consistent. The weapon bloom in this game does suck especially for the sub players. So it is very frustrating, but a lot of practice, repetition, and just learning your gun and your maps, you could make anything happen. If you're playing a map and you just know the layout, you could always just be ready. I'm gonna hit this route to my right. I know there's a heady. You're gonna be centered and ready for the heady. Barrel might be there, barrel might not be there. You don't wanna hit this corner and do that. You're already dead. Everything that you do needs to be premeditated. So I hope you guys enjoyed. It's been your boy Marskies and it was kind of a short video, a random video. I don't really wanna have to keep doing these best this, do this kind of clickbait videos, but I've noticed the traction has been well and it's been getting people to watch the other videos that I've made. So expect a vlog either today, as media day or tomorrow since it's a match day. But I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.